So I was playing with some Cuffer plugins, and there was this cool one called Locate. So we're gonna look at that right now. Um, if you never used Cuffer before, it's basically my favorite launcher. You know, you can launch like an application like Leafpad, or uh, you know, Task Manager. You can do both at the same time. Um, if you really want to know how to use it, just watch my old videos on it. So, oh yeah, that's another thing here. Like back, like two years ago, I talked about this program, but the themes back then was crappy. You can actually go into, um, you know, your preference here. And um, what the hell was that? Custom themes here, right? You can check this, and then you have well, the default one is the white one. It looks like GNOME Do. But you can go the square one. This one looks like the old cuffer I can use. And the dark one is what I use. Now, if you never use this program, they have a lot of plugins. Uh, don't try to enable all the plugins, okay? Because it does take resources. Disable the one that you don't use for sure because, you know, it, it does take up resources. Um, so that's how you save memory. Anyways, to get to the point of this screencast here, well, we're gonna use these locate files here, plugins, right? Make sure you check that, and make sure you check uh, ignore cases. Uh, and then, how would you use this? Basically, this thing is a, I guess, a front end for the locate command, and it uses the locate command's database, right? So this is how it works. You summon it. Uh, the default one is was that control space to summon it. And then you hit period uh, to enter text mode. And then you search for you know the the word that you, you you're looking for in in the file name. So let's say I'm for example I'm searching for color. I know there's a file called color. And make sure that your second pane here is is called uh, locate files because there's some other ones in here, but you want it at locate files, right? So that's all you gotta do. Hit enter. Uh, and then you can filter it out if you want. So if I type in like maybe JPG, you can do that, right? And you can use the up and down arrows, or you can use space and then shift space to go back up. So that's one way to do it. Um, if you want to search more than one string, uh, let's go back here. If you want to search more than one string? You go back to text mode here. Hit the period. You want to use the wild card, alright? So the wild card is your star. What is it called? Yeah, they call it star, or the asterisk. I mean, and then you search for, you know, the terms that's in there. Like let's say for example, color, and star again. And I know it's a, uh, it's called color wheel. And I know that um, it ends in JPEG. So I'll do another star. JPEG and then start at the end just to be sure. And there you go, it finds all the you know files that I have for that name that we were looking for. So if I open it, I just hit uh, enter and there you go, it opens it in my uh, image editor or I mean image viewer. Uh, let's do that again, alright. So you summon it, you hit uh, period and then you type in, for example, star earth star pdf and then star just to be sure and let's wait here there you go and then it finds the you know my chapters for my old class here and then you can just hit enter and then it opens it in your default pdf viewer so you can do that for any files um, that you have on your system and it uses you know the locate commands database so whatever has been indexed it will show up when you use your uh, cuffer here plugins anyways that's uh, how you would search with cuffer pretty cool plugin I wish I've tried it out earlier but uh, better late than never anyways that would be it for this one